All right, so there's this really cool spot down in Wilson's Prom called Big Drift. And basically it's this massive sand dune that looks like a desert. So I wanna go get a couple of shots. I'm really looking for a drone shot to use in an assignment for university. So gonna head down there and hopefully we're gonna be able to get some nice lighting, some nice weather and be able to get everything done that we want to. Far out, so my dad just told me that there might be problems with the car. So there's a chance that I'm not gonna be able to get there and that I'm not gonna be able to actually drive it confidently all the way down there. So we have to wait for the mechanic to get back to us and it's starting to get later in the day. So really need an answer, otherwise this shoot might not even happen. So, all right. We're in business. We got the A-OK -okay from the mechanic. So, car should be okay to get there and back. Let's just go. It's been too long. We've been waiting around too long. Let's hit it. Right, so it was an absolute massive drive to get even to the car park of this place. So, there's now about a 40 minute walk to the actual sand dunes. So, better uh, get my hike on. So, it's starting to get a bit more hilly now, a bit more sand, or well, actually sand, before it was just dirt. And uh, yeah, I think I'm regretting not wearing shorts. <sighs> so, if you look there, we can start to see the peak of Big Drift. I'm so hyped. This is literally a desert in our backyard. Oh, and I'm not even over the next peak yet. Oh man, this is awesome. Alright, so I've tried to find a little space that's not loud from all the wind, but basically, as you can see, the light's going, the light's failing. I need to get back before it gets dark, otherwise I might be in a little bit of a pickle. So, I'll see you at home, we'll have a look at the photos there, and we'll wrap up the video there as well. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get into the photos, let's dive in. So, first couple of shots I was really happy with. Uh, there were these landscape shots. So this is the main reason I came to the big drift. But yeah, so these are the ones I needed for my assignment. So we got this first one uh, with the shadows again cast on those on those sand dunes. And you got this other one with the mountains in the background. And I really liked that one. I thought the mountains were really cool. I didn't actually realize there were mountains there when I first scouted. And then when I got there, I was like, that is perfect. It looks so good. So those were the first two I was really happy with. And then... I got some of these close-up sand textures. It's really windy there, like those sand textures just get made all day. So it was pretty pretty juicy. Um, this one, super close-up, I really liked. Quite, I like the depth of field, it's quite nice. Uh, and then this other one, again, with the mountains in the background. And yeah, so I was pretty happy with those. And my favorite shot of the day, I had two favorite shots. First was this one of me kicking up the sand. That actually took me a heap of tries. I think I just set my camera up, took some time lapses of me trying to do it. Um, but yeah, that probably took about 100 shots. But that was probably one of my favorites. And the other one was this top-down shot 
with my footprints and then the long shadow cast. Uh, I thought it was really cool and you can kind of see my footprints to the right of it, of the main footprints. And literally I walked up there probably five minutes before that and within five minutes of this wind, this crazy wind, like they were gone. That's one thing I really noticed is it's really easy if you're not conscious to get lost in this place because it's massive. Like I didn't even get halfway across it. Like it was so big. Um, so they got this little post that shows you the only in and out point. So if you do go, make sure you mark that point on a map, know roughly where it is at all times and you should be fine. But I found that to be something I was like, Ooh, like where exactly is it that I'm going? Cause yeah, Hansel and Gretel doesn't work. You got no footprints. You got nothing to leave behind. Um, but yeah, so they were all my photos. I hope you really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed going out there as a massive trip. It really does take a whole day if you do plan to go, but I'd hundred percent recommend it. I thought it was super cool spot lived up to the hype and yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it and hit subscribe if you're keen for some more videos. Hopefully I can get a bit more consistent with my uploading and my creation of this stuff. Um, I really love doing it and I hope you guys like watching it as well. But until then, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.